Hey folks, welcome back to my playthrough of Final Fantasy 1. Uh, left off outside of the Ice Cavern, and we are going to pop right in and look for the Levistone. I think I called it a floater in the last episode, because that's what it was called in the original. Uh, it's the item you need, basically, to be able to lift the airship out of the desert after you beat this dungeon. Um, and get the, you know, be able to use the airship, which is nice. Let's actually use Diara on this group, because they'll take out the mummies. But this actually might take them all out too. Yes, awesome. Yeah, running into the cockatrice is very annoying because they have a chance to petrify on a basic attack, um, which is very annoying, um, especially if you're not prepared for it. With general knowledge of where stuff leads in here. Oh, cool, preemptive on them. I think they're considered undead for this, so let's find out. I mean, fire might end up taking them out anyway, so... Hey, <laughs> yep, awesome. Yay, okay. So we come through here. Oh, they can paralyze. Apparently just really feel like smacking around the fighter though, so... So that's the Levistone up there, uh, but all of these little cracks are uh, holes that you fall into. Ooh. So this is where you start running into, if I, I told you about the, uh, you can run into Pisco Demons, which those were the enemies that guarded the crown in the Marsh Cave. This is the reskin of Astos, which was that boss fight to get the crown. Or sorry, to turn into the crown to get the, the Crystal Eye. And they can be quite mean. So let's... Luckily, we got a preemptive attack on them, so that, that should give us a little bit of an advantage. <laughs> SO. <laughs> Thought they might have been stronger against magic, so I was worried that wouldn't work, but really? I fought Dark Wizards for clothes. The fuck am I, Dobby? Flame sword, that's nice. That should help him out. Um, and then we'll just squee! And of course, fight stuff to get out because that's what happens. Alright. Spectres can take more of a beating, so I want to make sure I get the physical attacks on them. The magic should take the rest of them out pretty easily. Then we start running into these little spiked areas that actually damage you if you walk on them. So be careful not to put walk on them too much, uh, because if you take the wrong path, you'll basically walk on them multiple times, take a good amount of damage, and have just wasted the health. Uh, we're going to actually drop a weaker one on them to save a little bit of my healing MP, hopefully. Oh. 
They hit really hard, even on the warrior. That's not good. I mean, he can take the hit. He has, as you can see, he has almost twice the MP of other people, but... Alright. Go down here. I believe this is where some of the... Oh, Mind Flayer is the upgraded Pisco Demon, which is gross. Oh, good, I got that heal off before. That became too much of a problem. Oh. Oh, no. Oh, okay, it only had half of them. Good. Yeah, he grew paralyzed, which can really mess you up quite easily. Uh, treasure room! Yay, this is where a bunch of good stuff is. Mostly money on that. Well, actually, all money on that first floor. And, oh, trap trap square. Oh, winter wolf ambush. That's not good. Because I believe they have the, like, freeze frost, flash freeze, something like that. It's an AoE cold attack that can really hurt my people. Uh, so we're going to... See if we can take them out before that becomes a problem. Yay, like that. Yay, okay. So now we're obviously going to get into another fight because that's what happens. Um, Yes, now he picked up that flame sword from earlier. He's dealing some good damage in here because I'm pretty sure most of these are at least maybe not all weak to fire, but they definitely aren't resistant to it. I mean, you're in an ice cave, makes sense that you'd be fire would hurt you. All right, before we go too far, I'm gonna throw some high potions on my party. Not fully topped off, but enough to be able to take a hit if they need to. Alright. So now I'm going to go up over here. I basically have to make my way back around to drop into that little space where the uh, Levastone is. Because um, otherwise you can't really get to it. There's all those cracked spots that will drop you down onto this floor. But I do have a fight against, I think it's called the Evil Eye, or Doom Eye in this version. Uh, that has instant death spells, which I gotta say, I am not a fan of at all. Oops, sorry. All right. Nope, did not mean to go back down. All right, here. Ether, that's pretty nice. Oh, gonna go down. Oh, man. That's how I go. Okay. I can't remember where the doors are in this place. No, not more cockatrices. I hate these things so much. I've been lucky so far, but I don't feel like my luck is going to last. Oh no, he put him to sleep. Okay, good. The spell off before he could petrify any of my party. Because I don't know if I have any gold needles, which is the way to uh, remove petrify. I know you can get gold needles as drops from them, but that involves fighting them, which I don't want to do if I don't have to. There we go. Okay, so now I have a gold needle. Uh, if I do get petrified in one of these random encounters, all right. So up here, you know, there's going to be another cracked. <laughs> Gross. That ratio is not fun. Uh, wait, please, just take them all out very quickly. Whenever that flashes, like they're getting their turn, I get frightened. Top yourself off. You got snacked around a little bit. Whew, okay, good. 
Uh, in this room, there is a uh, crack square that will fall into. We will fall into to be able to go down to where the Levastone is. But first, items. Ice shield. Okay. So we'll throw the ice shield onto him. And I believe... Let me make sure everyone's optimized. Yeah, I can remove those. Because actually... Yeah, okay. He's better off without it. Um, and... Whee! So as you can see, it drops us here. The spot in front is a trap square with that boss fight. So I am going to safety save it here. Uh, it does have instant death spells, as I mentioned. And I don't like that at all. It's very scary. Now, it's not very strong outside of that, but that's usually enough. They're going to instant kill you. <clears throat> oh! <laughs> I did not remember it being that easy to kill. Alright. Yay! That is fantastic. All right, now we have the Levastone. We are going to fall in on purpose, yay! Okay, so now, crouch where, there's a staircase in here that we need to find our way back to to be able to get out. Uh, if I remember correctly, it's in the room with the, like, damage spiky squares on the ground. You know, it might be up from that floor. Maybe that's what I'm thinking of. Yeah. Oh, that's right. It's so I have to go through here, take a little bit of damage. Uh, let me make sure I'm not too low. I'll throw a heal out. Uh, it's actually the next floor up, um, where we took that little one-way fall to uh, get to the Levastone. Um, if we were to continue, continue past that room, there's a staircase that leads you out of this cave, uh, which is very annoying the first time you play through and you're like, oh, this is the way I need to go. And it takes you out, you have to start the cave over here because you're back out outside. This way. Okay. Nope, how do I do that? So now we'll go this way. Ah, more of our friend the Pisco Demon. So if this room is where we went to fall down to the lava stone, so we're just going to continue around it. <laughs> As you can tell, I get frightened. I really do when I have to deal with these cockatrices, because they can... That petrify, while it hasn't connected yet, it is a pain in the ass. I don't want to have to redo all of this, you know? Ah, there it is. I do have a gold needle on me, I believe, so at least I can cure that. But that means that Arvis isn't getting any XP for this fight. And he's already behind, I do believe. Oh, I could have got another gold needle. So we're going to sort. Yep, okay, cool. I think he's the one that died earlier in the game on my team, so he's fallen a little bit behind. So you go there, and you're out. Whoops.
forgot. I was going to tent and save before I get too far. Um, but I don't think I can do that on the boat, so I'll have to wait to get back to land. It should be okay, though. These fights aren't too bad, and I don't have to worry about getting petrified by a damn cockatrice, so... Life Mage is really low on, on MP, but since we have that tent, that'll fix that real quick. And once we get the airship, we can... We don't get battles in the air on the airship, like we do on the boat or the canoe, so... That'll give us a little expressway that if we need to get to a town to heal up, which... Best to go back to Cornelia to do that, because the inn is cheap. 50 gil, I believe. <laughs> Yay, ambush. change coming because uh, that black belt monk, sorry, will get so much better. Oh, I got a cottage out of that, which is nice. Yeah, okay. Let's go right over here to my ship. Um, actually, I'm going to hop off of here. <laughs> really? For a single ghast? That is just cruel. I mean, it wasn't difficult. It was just a waste of my time. And your time. Alright, we'll drop a cottage to replenish. That way we don't have to worry about stopping at the inn right away. But now that we've got the Levistone... Levistone. Uh, take the ship down. Alright, bring up the map. And if you look... Um, zoom, oops. Zoom back out. Uh, right down here, here it is, there's a little desert um, with a little opening to a uh, river. So if we dock there, we hop immediately off and head in the desert, we will get ourselves a fancy new airship. This is pretty much the earliest you can get it, and... With how useful that is, especially when going to get your class change. Now, the class change part might be a little bit difficult. I have to go into the Castle of Ordeals um, and get the Rat Tail for Bahamut. And the, the Tower of Ordeal, Castle of Ordeals, sorry, is pretty obnoxious. Alright, so we dock right here, off, and into the desert for a fun airship cutscene. Fancy airship. Yeah, I believe in the original, you go in there and you use a love of stone, and then bloop, on that world map is the airship. Take it, you're dead. Yay! And there it is, fancy airship. Dun, 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 and it goes really fast. And has really fun, triumphant music. Uh, first things before I end this episode, I'm gonna head. That is not where I wanted.
wanted to go. That is Elf, elf Land. I want to go over here to Melmont uh, because I never did grab those spells once I was able to, once I was level for them. I talked about it when I was here last time. All right, I should be able to grab them. Yes, Kiraga, which is nice. Life, which is crucial. And Hilara. So I have a single big, a big single target, a medium multi-target, and a revive. And that's the best little undead spell. Mm, don't care. Actually, I think there might be Diaja up above it, but yeah. It's not as useful as those healing spells. And Black Magic Shop. Shiraga, very awesome. Teleport is good, because it helps you backtrack. Actually, I can't get it yet. Okay. Uh, Scourge, I will grab. It's not always useful. Um, basically, it's an instant kill attempt. Good if you have a big crowd of weak enemies, you don't feel like wasting your time. Uh, actually, teleport I'm not going to grab, even if I, I can't. But even if I could, because warp is better. It takes you completely out of the uh, the dungeon you're in. So that's nice. Alright, so now that we've got those spells done. And I think that's where we're going to call this episode. We had a, a pretty pretty useful one here. Went through the ice cave, got us a Levastone, and got us a fancy airship. Uh, next time we'll pick up here, and I think I'm going to go ahead and head toward the Castle of Ordeals and get, us our, get ourselves a class change before we start tackling the other three elemental fiend dungeons. Um, again, if you like what you're watching, like, subscribe, and I will see you next time. Take care, everybody.